in Wendy's Garden here on Salt Spring Island, and uh, what I'm standing beside are Ceanothus lifferus victoria, and these are one of the most common landscape shrubs on Salt Spring Island. These will actually grow into a small tree here, so these are all over Ganges, and uh, most people use these in their garden because they're super drought tolerant. Mm -hmm. They bloom like mad, and they attract bees, mm -hmm. and they're fragrant. These things are just, well, usually there's more bees on them, but these are filled with different pollen on these trees. So, um, and they like full sun, don't have to water them, super drought tolerant plants, they're native to California, and you can shear them, you shear these. If you don't shear these, these will grow about 13 feet tall or so, and uh, they are evergreen. The bucks do. The bucks do what? They like to rack their antlers in them. Oh, they like to, she says the bucks like to rack their antlers. So you have to put that egg wash on them. She's got uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four of them here and there's actually some more along the front so I'm going to grab the camera in a minute and you have and I'll show you them. There's lavenders growing here, there's some vinca major, there's lots of succulents. Bring your camera up to this. Oh pleasant. there's some more there too. You can hear the on that. It's the 9th today of June and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. It's only about 8.30 or so. I'll uh, grab the camera and I'll show you some of her uh, you know this. So here Okay, I'm going to come up there to the bees. There's more here in the front of her place. See the blue, beautiful blue uh, purpley flowers on them. And um, there's lavender here, English lavender. It's buzzing with bees. Some people call them bee bush. There's more up there in front of the, these are B&B guests cars, but you can see some in front of the, in front of the cars here. Can you stick the camera right in this one, like right in it, you'll hear the bees. Like it's, this one's really loud. Let's see. Like you just hear the bush, it's like the bush is buzzing. Oh yeah. Stick it right in there. Well, the pollen on these bees. Lots of bees. <clears throat> you have an orchard, you plant some of these around and it'll oh, really attract yeah. the bumblebees and the honeybees. So this is looking up down on them from the sun deck here. Aren't they beautiful? I have these in my garden as well, but mine aren't as well manicured as Wendy's. Wendy really likes to trim them. Nice.